Who doesn't love book mail? Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am really excited to be working with Your Paper Quest again. I worked with them, I think it was back in September, October time last year, I'll put the um, original video in the description, um, where they were just launching and they were kind enough to ask me to kind of help them with their launch by showing you guys one of their boxes and I know a lot of you have kind of gone on to enjoy them because I've seen other people like on um, Instagram and stuff uh, showing off uh, some of their purchases. I will um, put in the description the discount code that they've given me for, uh, for you guys to use and obviously the link to the website and all that good stuff. But they've been kind enough to send me another parcel um, and I thought we would open it together today. So as you can see, you get the parcel like this. One of the things I love about your paper quest is that everything, all the packaging is plastic free. Um, it's also, it would probably help if I told you a bit about them, um they are also all about champion championing indie published books so there will be two books in here along with i think some bookmarks and stuff um and both of the books will be indie, indie published which is really exciting because actually i love supporting indie books and in, indie authors and bookshops and stuff but sometimes it can be a little bit hard to find them and your paper quest kind of cuts out um that difficult bit for you and just gives you two books each month um, from two indie published authors. So yeah, really exciting. It comes like this. One thing that I love, like a little detail, particularly as a content creator, is that they have the your name on the front. So when you order yours, it'll have your name on it. Obviously they've done what Victoria read for me, which is so exciting. But I love that it doesn't have the like parcel label on it because I can clearly show you this without uh, risking putting my address on the internet. So yeah, it comes like this. I love their logo. It's all really exciting. And yeah, let's get into this and see what's in here. I have no idea um, which genre this is. Um, <laughs> that's my fault, not theirs. I did get a little bit of, I might have slightly got some water on this package. Um, so my struggle with this to open this is my fault, not theirs. Um, let's try this. And yeah, I just, it's just always so exciting to get book mail. I also really like that, like I said, I don't know which um, genre this is or any of the books or anything like that because I've not seen any information. So we will just explore this together. So let's go for the information sheet first. So it looks like this, that's the back, there's the front. Um, and it says, your paper quest, catch me if you can. Okay, this is their March box. So if you already had this, you'll know what, what I'm about to find. March already, welcome to the latest your paper quest box. Spring is just around the corner now, and what better way to celebrate the changing of seasons than by getting lost in two stories that focus on escapes and fresh starts. That sounds really fun. Then they tell you a little bit about the books, which I'm going to skip over. Um, and then... Oh yeah, that's the other thing that you can do. So you will get a QR code and you can join the book club. So you can scan that um, and you can join the book club and also ask the authors of the two books questions, which is really exciting. I think that's a really cool feature. Um, and yeah, that's the little kind of um, blurby bit. Like I said, I'm skipping over the books because I want to have a look at that myself. So that's the first thing that we've pulled out. And then let's do the book, shall we? So let's just go with this one. Okay, wow, cool cover. So this says The Teddy and Bara Show. A novel by Will Tinkham. I know literally, obviously, nothing about this. So let's read the back together. On each, so I want to make some guesses. You've got a really cool, like, truck. So I'm going to say this is historical fiction, set at a circus or something. Um, so it says, on each eight, each eighteenth birthday, Teddy and Bara meet in Saint in a Saint Paul brothel. What a start. Okay. Neither of them wants to be there. Teddy's real name is listed among the dead in the Mind F Milford Mind Collapse in 1924. Okay, so it is historical fiction. Bara's dance instructor left her pregnant at 14. Teddy inherits a Model T truck that night after its owner is found floating in the Mississippi. Some, some Minneapolis gangsters want it back. The teens flee Teddy's place in a hail of gunfire. Flee Minneapolis made up as clowns. They like the look. Okay, so they're running away dressed as clowns. This sounds exciting. And they've got a secret even they don't know. They hit Chicago, making their mark performing outside Cub Cubs, Club Cubs games and get hired by the Bears. They catch the eye of Al Capone and are kidnapped to perform at his 1926 birthday bash. That's where the real trouble starts. This sounds so fun. As the Roaring Twenties meet the Great Depression, the Teddy and Barra show takes us through throughout the Midwest, ultimately returning to the Twin Cities with the feds and gangsters still after the clowns and that Model T. What is in that Model T? Okay, I'm so intrigued by that. That looks really exciting. Also, this is so fun. On the inside, you've got this um, little invite to Al Capone's birthday bash. That's really cute. 
um to rsvp open the book yep and it's got the your paper quest logo on the back also each um your paper quest book has their stamp in it here comes sav uh so you can see that there and oh do we get a bookmark as well yes and each book also comes with its own bookmark so again your paper quest on the front and then it's got a quote from the book just here again with the like tickets and the model t car and it says i'm not sure what love is but i know i'd be miserable without you and that's a quote from will tinkham who's obviously one of our characters that look sounds right up my street that's a very strong start okay i'm gonna put the al capone invite back in there as well i'm just gonna let this cat out because otherwise she's gonna cause chaos Okay, so that was the first book and that was a very strong start. Let's see what this other one is. Okay, interesting. Oh, okay. So this is California Hustle, a novel by Jeffrey Messiano. I'm apologising if I said that incorrectly. Again, I know nothing about this, never heard of it before. Um, I guess it's from the cover. We're clearly on a beach or an island. We've got a surfer just here. Again, from the cover, I'm getting kind of historical fiction vibes the sun is very large in the sky if that is the sun okay let's read the back and see what this is so on the back it says entertaining and hilarious grigsby adores the con okay so again we've got another kind of like con artist type vibe there's nothing better than a good hustle the ins and outs the improvisation ask any athlete eventually you get too old reflex is slow ability diminishes decision making decays so after a string of bad luck Grig grigsby's afraid he's aged out of the only thing that matters the game but when his massive debts come due and his college-age kids become collateral, Grigsby must learn a new trick and score in the biggest scam of his life, going mostly legit with an extraordinary mix of film festival, pop-up, start-up and the seat of his pants. California Hustle is a high-stakes con, a stunning Southern California beach read filled with exquisite players, astonishing twists and a set of endearing criminals you can't help but love. That sounds really fun. It also sounds like it's going to be perfect for like July and like a summary read. So yeah, really cool. Another great choice. And what do we have in here? Okay, so we have a little um, bit from the author about where he got his ideas from. So that's really cool. I will put that into the book to read when I pick the book up, which will hopefully be soon. And I feel like we've got two bookmarks in here. So this is the Your Paper Quest one. And this one's got a tennis ball. No, that's not a tennis ball, or a cricket ball or a baseball probably for America. And then the film camera and it says the human heart wants what it wants despite all our protestations of rationality and analysis eventually our decisions always come down to emotions i really like that quote okay and then there's something else can you see that in here so let's see what this is oh i think it's another one. Oh, okay it's just a discount code and like i said i will um i'll show you because it's pretty um but i will put the discount code in the description for you so you can access this easily so i think that's everything that comes yes in the box so we have the your paper quest stuff with the qr code to scan and join the book club and then we have these two books which both of which sound right on my street sound really fun i also really like the covers i feel like they go together really well um and yeah another great book with great box even from your paper quest so like i said i will put in the description a discount code tell me are you already subscribed have you already had uh, some boxes from this company because like I said I really enjoy working with them um, I really love what they're doing to bring indie authors to more people um, and I just think it's really good like, like I said everything is like plastic free it's all done in the UK all of that kind of stuff um, so if you made it to this point in the video like I said the discount code will be in the description if you would like to use it but if you made it to this point in the video leave the surfboard emoji I feel like there must be a surfboard emoji so leave me a surfboard emoji for this book or leave me a clown emoji for this one. Please subscribe if you'd like more of this chaos and I will see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.